I have a question for you <clears throat> and the question is a really simple one that is how many minutes are there in a football match and the most obvious answer here is 90 minutes and if I ask you a question about how many minutes are there in the first half of a football match you would say 45 and you would be correct but you wouldn't and uh, I want to show you something here if we look at a uh, soccer site, you can see here we've got soccer stats. Um, they provide loads of information. Great, great little site. Loads of really interesting things. How many goals are going in and against different players, uh, different teams rather, scores and so on. But you can see they also have here scoring times. And if you look at this chart, you can see here it says you know zero to fifteen minutes, eleven point two percent of goals. 76 to 90 minutes, 21.2, and you're thinking, wow, that's that's an interesting stat. Look at that. The um, you know there are more goals scored in those last 15 minutes than at any other time during the match. So you said, uh, in response to our question, how many minutes are there in a football match? You said 90 minutes. Our survey said, uh -uh. and um, this is a, a really common mistake that you see. I had a look at this site today. And you can see that it says, you know, there's a blip here, 18.5% just before half time, and um, at 90 minutes, 21.2. But what they call 90 minutes is 90 minutes plus extra time. What they call 45 minutes is 45 minutes plus extra time. Um, and I analyzed the stats and had a look at it, and I got somebody to go through um, the entire site and correlate the data with what actually happened in the match. And uh, we found, I can't remember how many goals it was, probably near near 100 or something ridiculous. Um, or a large chunk of goals actually came beyond the times that were stated here, beyond 45 minutes and beyond 90 minutes. And it's important to bear that into consideration because this is a very misleading statistic. This is 90 minutes plus extra time. If you strip out the goals that occur in extra time at the end of the first half and at full time, completely different picture. But um, if we go into Soccer Mystic and I go into the price predictor, um, I can show you something that we've done here to allow you to overcome these issues. If I wind the time forward on here to 45 minutes, you can see here that the price on Colchester has, or the draw is coming to 265, Colchester's gone out to 275. If there are an extra five minutes of time added onto this match, then you can see that the price would move. It's not unusual at the end, uh, when the whistle's blown for half time, see the, the market reset itself. And of course, it's bound to, because as the match reaches half time, then um, extra time that's played, there's, there's going to be added chance of goal. Every minute that's played, there's a higher chance of goal. So if there are five minutes of extra time, um, then you can see that you know it'd be 216, 265 um, at 45 minutes, and if there are five minutes of extra time, 228, 246. But then when the whistle goes and they go back, the clock gets reset and you're back to 45 minutes, and so the price will have to adjust, um, and that's very often what you see at half time. Um, for full time, what we've actually done is if you click on the little set uh, box here, if I drag this down, you can see that. Um, we've got estimated full time and the reason that we do this is if we wind forward let me just okay that if we wind forward to 90 minutes there we go you can see here it says draw 108 now of course if the match is up at 90 minutes the draw will be 101 or a very low price but we've actually set the estimated full time uh, to 93 minutes or if, if this was Manchester United and they were losing it would be 125 or something. Anyway, um, you can adjust the extent of the full time because that is an important consideration and what you will notice is if the fourth official puts up extra time um, you know if there was no extra time then we'd expect the price to be at a certain you know there you go certainty 101 um, but if the full time was actually going to be an added six minutes then you can see that changes the odds quite dramatically. Um, so it's always worth taking into account exactly how much extra time is going to be added at the end of the first half and the second half, and the market will adjust automatically um, to that indication of added time because it's impossible for more time to be added to a match and that not to reflect the odds. Now we obviously try and um, do our best to reflect that in the software, 
but they, there are many factors that interplay within there. And if the ref adds on three minutes of extra time, um, and but in fact plays six, then that's obviously going to change as well. But it's in those sort of areas that you can find an edge. You know, you you know that there are certain um, situations where extra extra time is more likely to occur, and um, and you can find slight mispricings in the market from there. Um, so anyway, just wanted to cover that and um, explain how time can have an effect on odds or how extra time can have an effect on odds and why you should always take account of it.